I just got caught out by not checking the time then. I don't know what I was waffling on about. The video seemed to get to about there. So if I didn't say it, or if you didn't hear it, at GCSE you should have been told you can't just work out the average of a 6.4 and 7.2. That doesn't work unless you've got the same, same uh, sample size. So what I need to do is add these together. So 25 times 6.4 tells me exactly the sum of all of them for that first sample. And then the 30 times 7.2 gives me the sum of all of them for the second sample. And then it was over the 25 for the first sample and the 30 for the second sample. And if you do that, you should get uh, not that. Oh, yeah, 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 got that, got that. 6.84. There you go. I was just reading the complete pack and got myself confused. Right, so there you are. <laughs> uh, I need to talk quicker if I'm going to keep the, the examples on. Right, so look at this next bit. I'm going to get down. Uh, how far am I going from this? Do you know what? I'm going to actually stop there. Um, because this is moving on now to moving off the central tendency bit, so I'm stopping there.